After the storm, many county residents were without power for up to a week and hundreds of traffic signals were out of operation. County Council will hold a PEPCO debriefing next week to go over the utility company's performance following the massive storm. Susan Kennedy has more on this story. Susan? Lorna, once again, PEPCO is the topic of discussion here at the Council, and once again, the words are harsh. Thank you. Thank you. At his weekly press conference, Mr. Berliner wasted no time in his criticism of the utility company, saying residents are beyond angry. Enough is enough. Our citizens have had enough. And while this was a big storm and outages are to be expected, PEPCO's performance on every level was unacceptable. The length of the outages, the appalling communications, the computer glitches and data distortions, the list can go on and on. Mr. Berliner says there is no issue more important than reliable electric power and that county residents have not had it for far too long. This latest storm left residents and businesses in the dark and sweltering heat for days on end. The county council will hold a debriefing on PEPCO's response to the storm next week. In the meantime, Berliner says he wants to see PEPCO attend to its many issues now. First, we need accountability, real accountability, no slap on the wrists. We need our Public Service Commission to hold PEPCO's feet to the fire. Assuming the commission concludes that PEPCO's performance does not measure up, and it's hard to see how they could conclude otherwise, then the consequences have to be real. Immediate fixes like hiring more linemen and updating their computer system are some of Mr. Berliner's suggestions. In the long term, becoming less dependent on PEPCO should also be considered. We cannot be dependent on this centralized monopoly utility who has performed so badly. I'm Susan Kennedy for County Report This Week.